What's going on guys? Welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Last time we continued our adventure here in the Wooded Kingdom. We found a lot of Power Moons today, I believe is the day where we complete this kingdom once and for all and then make our way to the next kingdom in this game. But before we begin, you already know the drill. Drop a like on this video and don't forget to answer the comment question of the day. Last time I asked you guys, why do you watch Let's Plays on YouTube? And here are some of the responses that we got. Today's comment question of the day is a tough one it is if you can play or if you had to play just one game for the rest of your life just one game what would it be and why I thought long and hard about this question and you know I came to the conclusion and I know this might come as a shocker to some of you guys but I came to the conclusion that that game would most likely have to be Minecraft and the reason I say that is because Minecraft is one of those games that for me at least I can play and uh, I just I don't get bored easily while playing the game there's so much to do and every time I play it there's always a new experience and when you play with friends it's also a different experience you could play by yourself and you could have your own fun and experience you know doing it that way uh, I was gonna say Breath of the Wild but eventually that game will come to an end once you do everything I know it would take you know hundreds of hours to do so but still it does have an end so unless you constantly reset the game and replay it over and over again it just you would one day get burnt out on playing and I'm sure Minecraft would be the same way but I feel like it would take a lot longer to be burnt out on that game over Breath of the Wild which is my favorite game of all time by the way like I said uh, and uh, I guess this game too this game would be a really fun game to play I guess forever because you could just master it and get really 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 good at it imagine playing this game for the rest of your life like every day and only this game like what speedrunners do it's it's very plausible you could definitely do it so it's uh, no surprise if somebody actually does that and then ends up being the best at this game so anyways we got one of these things this is a uh, a kingdom art we're gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of this you know for later I already took one of these so if you can't tell this is obviously in the sand kingdom who else in the in the entire world wears sombreros I mean come on dude we were just in that kingdom and we couldn't find this thing but you had to find the art to do it. We're also going to switch out of this crazy Rick and Morty outfit. I'm not really a big fan of this. Mario just looks like a berserk Super Saiyan. Look at him, dude. You know, Super Saiyan Gray Mario or whatever. We're actually going to be wearing our Nigel Thornberry outfit, our Explorer outfit. And the reason for that is because there's a power moon that requires you to wear this exact outfit. So, like I said earlier on, I'm going to try to finish up this kingdom today. And if I don't, then it's whatever. I'm not going to be upset about it. But I will try to finish it up. I have the guide next to me just in case, you know, I, I don't you know, know where exactly a, a star moon or a power moon is, then I could just look at the guide. I feel like it's cheap, but hey, this guide has really come in handy. And I, I did not know that the guides were just written by like people that Nintendo hired. Like obviously it's written by someone Nintendo hired, but just regular people. That, that to me that's crazy that's awesome I love how Nintendo do that it's just a guy who writes the guide you know so that, that's, that's why some of the, the power moons just didn't make sense because it's like man this is definitely not written by someone who developed the game because if it were I would have more understanding as to what I'm supposed to do but we're in the deep woods and the reason we're down here is because there's a couple of things we need to do first of all we're gonna talk to this machine this is you know in a universe where humans and machines live and coexist together imagine one day we live in a, in, a, in a world where robots just live amongst human beings and then eventually they'll take over I don't think that would ever happen in order for such a thing to happen you'd have to be able to give something free will like if you get if you give if you have a child right your child could disorder obey you your child could even kill you if you wanted to because they're born with free will you know but with a robot you program it and I don't think no matter how hard or how it, like uh, how how much technology advances you'll be able to program something and be able to give it free will that just seems like it's impossible in my opinion I mean maybe one day maybe science will prove me wrong but I just don't ever see that happening to be honest oh my goodness leave me alone I need you I want this frog you think he's gonna chase me oh no he does chase me what is wrong with this thing I'm just a little baby frog leave me alone you can't do this to me oh my goodness t-rex what is your problem crash into the yeah hit, hit, hit your head dude please knock oh no Get knocked out! This happened yesterday, dude! I was running away from this crazy psychopath. Okay, we made it, dude. We escaped. So, this is actually one of the most annoying power moons. It's not hard to do by any means. It's just... 
<sighs> if I was a gold digger, I would never get this power moon. If Mario were a gold digger, which thankfully he's not, I'm sure he would never get this power moon. So you want to know what you need to do? You literally have to sit there spitting out coins forever on this thing. I'm not even joking. This is going to go on for a while. So I hope Josiah fast forwards this part because this is going to take some time. So apparently when I was reading the guide, I was trying to figure out how many coins you needed specifically for this. And it said you needed hundreds of coins. So if you did this the first time you visited the, uh, the Wooded Kingdom, you most likely wouldn't have more than like five, six hundred coins. Or maybe you would if you, sat, you spent time grinding, but if you played it like very fast, collected the power moves you needed to leave one kingdom to the next, you most likely would have not had more than a thousand coins like I did. I didn't have a thousand coins till like towards the end of the game. So with this one, I would have probably ran out of coins midway through and you would have to go farm for coins. I'm definitely going to have under 20 or 2,000 coins, which really sucks. This is depressing. All this just to build a freaking tree i don't understand it's not even a tree dude why does why do plants and vegetation need my coins this is insanity dude wario would never approve of this he would kill mario for knowing that he did such a thing and it just it doesn't end there man even when the bean grows out you still have to spit out at least 200 coins just for the stupid power moon to finally be able to be popped out of it like look at this we're about 400 coins into this stupid thing and we're still you know wasting our money on this and the bean just appeared watch it's still gonna take forever i'm not even kidding it's, it's gonna grow you gotta make sure this thing actually spouts up apparently money does anything in this game you can literally fast forward and create vegetation oh there it is finally dude Wow, I don't even know how many coins I had prior to doing this probably like 2,500 so yeah, it was about 500 coins I thought it was gonna be a lot more. I thought it was maybe gonna be like six seven hundred But I guess I was wrong 500 is the number so not too bad Okay, so we did that um, So how many did we do down here? We did two down here so far I don't remember if there was another one there most likely is but I just can't think of it right now So I'll probably just come back here uh, eventually and get this one on my own time because I, I like I said I don't really remember them off the top of my head There's so many it's just like it's hard to keep count of what exactly you've gotten and what you didn't get So I'll just do the ones that I know for oh actually no I think I know one so there's one and th this is the last one I believe that I need to get in this area so we have to find a tree that has a giant or it's a giant tree with a war pipe in the middle No giant war pipe at all It's just a, a giant tree with a war pipe in it and it's actually near where the t-rex usually hangs out It's like near his nest so if we go this way, I'm sure we'll run into him. This is the tree. Look at that. The great tree, man. It's because it's a ginormous sized tree. I've never seen a, a gigantic tree in my life. Like the biggest tree I've probably seen was maybe like 30 feet tall. But again, it's still big compared to like me. But it's not as big as like trees that exist. You know, that are out there in the world, man. I've seen pictures of some trees and they just go so high up. It's ridiculous. If you had a treehouse, I've seen a video, or uh, there's this show, it was like Strange Homes or whatever, and uh, there's this man or something, or a family, they literally lived in a treehouse, and their treehouse was so dope because it wasn't just one treehouse, it was like a treehouse that had connections, and like you could have to walk like a, a, along this bridge-like thing, and then you would go to like another dome and then that dome was like the extension of the house so like one dome was the bedroom one dome was the living room one dome was like the kitchen and the family area it was crazy and they lived like that they actually lived there and they were high up too so you know they were able to spot out anyone trying you know to kill them or threaten them i guess so it's pretty cool man i don't know if i would ever do that to be honest though hey this is pretty cool it spawned us out here it's not like i actually know you know what i'm gonna do something I'm gonna do something very nice. So I always wondered why they put like a fire broke here, but he serves no purpose. Well, you're about to find out. You're about to find out exactly what this fire bro's purpose is. So you're supposed to light this thing. Just kidding. You're not supposed to light that one. I think they put that there as like a hint. Hey, you know what? Later on, you could do this with the fire bro, but you don't necessarily know about it until after you come back and visit the kingdom. So you're going to see this dude here from the luncheon kingdom. He's just chilling in front of some fire wood, but with no fire. Go away! Hey, shut up. Don't tell me to go away. I'm here to help you, dude. And you go ahead, light the fire, and boom, bala, bing, shalang, a power moon emerges out of it. Very nice. All right, so we need to get rid of the uh, the enemy right here. I'm sorry, fire bro, that I got to do this to you, man. You know, you've been very helpful, but you kind of sound stupid when you jump. So I have no choice but to kill you. Woohoo! All right, let's go ahead and talk to him. I forgot my ingredients. Oh, my God, dude. I can't believe you. He forgot his ingredients, guys. So how is he going to whip us up something delicious? Dude, this guy's a crazy clown. He made it all the way here just to forget his ingredients. And he's not going to do anything about it. He's just going to chill there. Like, hey, I forgot my ingredients. What do I do now? I'm just going to stand here looking at this fire. 
it's not really gonna do much for me but i'm gonna keep doing it but this is one of those uh, really cool power moons you gotta you know avoid all the bullet bills there's so many of them here you want to make sure that you don't accidentally you know die it's pretty easy to get past all the bullet bills you know and then once you go ahead and get the key you're gonna want to possess one of these uh bonsai bills hello oh no that's pretty cool though i like that i can make a good thumbnail out of this i might actually do it so if the thumbnail of this video is uh is Mario, you know, running away from a giant bullet bill. No, it was a success to get a nice screenshot of this. I just love taking screenshots in this game. On my... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, actually, I need to get back to the... All the way over there. That's right. So it's going to be easy. I'm just going to go this way to avoid the bullet bills. You know what, man? Let's give this guy a little bit of juice. Woohoo! Weehoo! Oh, no! Okay. Go ahead and just jump out of him. So there's another bonsai cannon down here. This is the one that we need to possess. And you just want to go all the way straight through and then crash into this wall. I love the attention to detail that they made on the bullet bills. Just the rust and the scratches. They look like, they really do look like bullets, man. It's amazing. All right, let's go to the observation deck because we cleared this place out completely. Only two power moons located in every area like this. By the way, that sheep power moon, I have it. Don't worry. So we don't have to go through the tedious process of uh, of hurting the sheep because it's just not really my cup of tea, man. Mario does not enjoy doing that. So there's a box and there's a nut. As you can see, they're like across from each other. They're parallel from one another. So th those are two easy power moves you can get. Go ahead and break this box down and get yourself a delicious power moon hidden inside of a crate. Why Why would they do that? Who would? Who is the one that hid these power moons? They just magically, you know, are in, uh, in, in crates and then in nuts. It just doesn't make sense, man. Who is the one? Who is the guy that put these things here? Just, I want to know. Somebody please tell me. Nobody will tell me, I guess. But going on back to the observation deck. It says there's like a power moon in that area. Oh, I think I know which one it is. Because there's literally one that is near me. Huh. Actually, I don't. I might not know what that one is. I'll have to look it up in the guide. But I'll just wait until, you know, I can't find any more. Woohoo! Once again, taking Glidon. I called him Flydon, dude. Sounds like a Pokemon, but his name is Glidon because you know he, uh, he tells you, "Hey man, glide on me." I think so. I don't know why they named him Glidon. It's a clever name though. I like it. So go ahead and grab this Power Moon hidden on this nut. It's just, you know, hidden here. I don't know why they do that, but you know, it's a pretty good place to hide one, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and warp to the Secret Flower Field entrance. So I knew there was a Power Moon in this area yesterday when I played this. I just couldn't remember exactly where it was, but now I do. It's just so many, dude. That's the thing. It's just it make it's tough knowing them off the top of your head. But it's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna you know eventually obviously play this game in the future. And when I do, I wanna see exactly how well I end up doing. You know, I could actually just make it from here. There you go. Just jump off. They want you to do like a tedious way to get down, but you could literally do it like this. Alright, so you wanna stay on top of this thing, and then you wanna stay on top of that, and then you know, cappy jump, very nice. See, that, that's pretty easy. That's just very clean and efficient. Cappy is the G, bro. Give me this gold. Mm, yummy. Give me all that gold, dude. I definitely need some of this gold, bro. I need to replenish my uh, my wallet, dude. It's like, it's, 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 it's a very bad day for Mario. He spent a lot more gold than he had anticipated. But it's fine, because we'll make up for it. Don't, don't you worry, children. All right, so what else do I have to do? Oh, there's uh, that one in the cage, but that one we're gonna save for the very end. Uh, what else can I do? Um, oh yeah, there's a bird one. Okay, so let's go over here. So there's one, two, three. So we can actually get two right now. We could potentially get the three if I'm patient enough, because there is a, a flying bird who scales all of Wooded Kingdom. And you have to wait because his laps are very, very long. So it requires patience. But, I mean, come on. I should have the patience of a saint after that sheep uh, power moon. All right, here we go. Even in the guide, they tell you this requires serious patience. So relax. Because they know you're probably going to get frustrated playing that sheep one. All right, here we go. Jump over on this thing. And as you can see, we have an enemy that we need to fight. Oh, no, 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 no. Leave me alone. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, here we go. Jump on his head. So you need to jump on his head twice. 
and then that's it once you jump on his head twice you'll be able to do it all right so we're just gonna avoid this i'm gonna grab this thing just in case okay fine i got invincibility frames jump on his head again bang shalang that's it only two hits I, I, this is like the baby of the, the boss that we fought if you guys don't remember, this is also where we fought the second Brutal in the game. I don't know the names of the Brutals. They do have names, and uh, I don't know them because they're silly names. Okay, where do we want to go now? I want to go this way. So I'm trying to, like, fall off this ledge. All right, let's go this way. Woohoo! Very nice. All right, now what? I guess I got to go over there. The question is, how am I going to do that? Well, I guess we got to walk around this ledge. This is terrifying, man. Like, if you fall, you die. For realsy, there's no coming back after this. What if I like, you know, what if I did that? Oh, that works. Okay, hey, this works actually pretty nicely. And just go ahead and fall over this way. And then you want to walk across. All right, so you want to just kind of like hippity hop. Oh my gosh, dude, we hippity hopped this. It worked. Hello, my friend. A creature that can stretch many times its height upwards. I have been hoping to investigate one up close. So the root telescope out like so. I see the mystery is solved. Bang Shalang, he gives you a power moon. These cute little adorable things, man, from the Cap Kingdom. You find them everywhere in the game. They're just always looking for, you know, just, just something fun to do. They actually go out, unlike the Toads, and explore the world. Have a grand old jolly adventure. So you could actually wait here for the little birdie to come. I don't know. I'm going to just, uh, I don't know if I want to, I, I should probably kill this thing, you know. It's going to really give me a hard time, I feel. Uh, should I kill it or should I let it live? I guess I'll let it live. It's whatever. Or maybe I should kill it. If it starts attacking me, I'll kill it. All right, so this is where the... Oh, he's gone! Never mind! I thought you were going to just stay with on, on this island with me. But I think this is where you're supposed to get the bird. Oh, there he is. He's coming! I see him! Look at him! There is the little baddie! Come to me! I hope he actually makes his way over here. Unless he's going to go all the way around. Oh, no, 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 no. Come this way! Brother! Brother! Oh no, he went down there! Okay, I get it now. I guess I was on the wrong part of the uh, the level, so... I guess I'll wait for him to come back again, make another lap. In the meanwhile, I'll just go ahead and see what I have yet to get. So we have uh, 63, so we need 13 more power moons. And I know exactly where three are, for sure. That one, and then the two ones out of this kingdom, so that's three. So that means there's ten left. There's one, two... And then there's a lot more, but I just, I can't think of them, dude. My brain's not working right now. I'm gonna just get this one first, you know, focus on what's in front of me. Alright, so we should be able to get him as soon as he gets back here. So I'll just meet you guys as soon as he uh, makes his way back over here. I see him! He's making his way over here. Wow, that lap was actually pretty short. It did not take long at all. Alright, so as soon as he makes his way here, I'm gonna have to... Wait, what? Bro! Are you serious? Why are you so high up? Okay, fine. I guess I have to do it from up here. We could still make a comeback. We're gonna go down here. Just like that. We're gonna just chillax in this area. Over here. Alright, this dude better make his way over here. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to, you know, kill him. We're gonna have delicious bird for dinner, I think. Or lunch. I don't know if Mario eats lunch. Uh, do you eat lunch, Mario? Yes, I do, my friend. I eat everything. Uh... <laughs> All right, where is the stupid bird? Oh, there it is. No, it's not the bird. That's the power moon. <laughs> it looked like a bird from the sky. Oh, yeah, there's one in that cage. What? He just flew right past me. Are you serious? There he is. I gotta get him. Oh, I got him, dude. Holy crap. Okay, now how do I get this thing? Oh, my gosh. The power moon is just floating up there. Oh, no, this is not good. All right, let me see. Does this thing work? Does it, like, if I roll around, will I be able to get it? I thought maybe it was gonna just spawn somewhere else. I got the bird. What happens if I like travel away? Will the power moon still be there? All right, whatever. It's fine. Guess what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to make my way all the way around again. Wait, hold on a second. What? Okay, this doesn't make sense. It's just chilling up there, dude. I hope that when I travel, it's still there. Cause that would be really stupid for the thing to move or just disappear and have to do it again. So, here's hoping that it's still there. Let's go back and check. At least I got it, though. It's just I wasn't positioned in the right place. Where is it? Where is it? Is it still there? Oh, no, it's not there. Oh, my gosh, dude. Okay, so I read in the guide that every other lap the bird makes, 
in this exact area, it'll make a low enough, uh, it'll go low enough in order for you to be able to hit it. So, the last time around, it was pretty high. So, hopefully this time, it's flying at a lower altitude, which, as you can see, it's making its way right now. So, I should be able to hit it from this distance. Otherwise, that's just gonna be really silly. Just please stay that light. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. No, 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 no. He's way too high, man. All right, fine. So I guess this lap classifies as the higher altitude lap. Let's now see again if it's going to do it or if it'll be a uh, in a lower altitude. There it is. It's right there. No. All right, guys. Here it is. I got it, dude. Okay, so I figured out a very easy method in doing this. So the best thing to do is to literally transport to uh, the Sky Garden Tower. And uh, when you kill yourself in this area, literally the bird resets and it makes a lap at a very low altitude. So it just works out very, very nicely. So I did it and it took a couple tries because, you know, I was just kind of messing around with the birdie trying to figure out exactly how to hit him. And I was able to do it. Probably the second most tedious one in this uh, place to do, but I'm glad that we did it. I'm glad that it's done and over with. So now we can go ahead and continue our adventure looking for different power moons. No! Okay, come on, dude. Just why, why do you got to do this to me? Why you got to do this to me? I don't know if this is even the place that I'm supposed to be at right now. Okay, it's not this one. It's something very similar to this. So it's not this one. Uh, what I'm looking for right now is I'm looking for a caged place. Oh, it's right down there. That's exactly what I was looking for. Ha, it was literally in the same kind of area, but different. So inside of this thing, you're gonna find a uh, a fire bro. You're literally just supposed to kill it. He's gonna hit he's gonna hit you with fire, so you gotta be careful. But once you kill him, one jump does the trick. You get yourself a power moon. Very nice. Fire in the cave. There's no fire in the cave, dude. What a liar. This game's lying to me, and obviously you can't do anything because Cappy's not here with you. Come here, Cappy, let's go. All right, so let's go back over to the beginning part of this game. Let's go to Summit's Path, or Summit Path. We're going to be looking for a toad now, and this toad will give us a power moon. This is a toad, not Captain Toad, a toad that listens to music. He wants to listen to specific kinds of tunes. The best way to do this is literally just fall off this side of the mountain, uh, and then you'll end up literally being with him over here. Mario gets stunned every time he falls, but it's all good. Hey, what's up, Toady Toad? You're like, hello! I'm traveling all over in search of all different kinds of music. I wonder if you might know some of the music that fits a certain theme. The theme is, wait for it, Sky High Coins of Plenty. If you got that one, let me hear it. So, literally, it's track 75. This is the track that I told you guys was from another Mario game, and they brought it onto this game, which was pretty cool. So, it's literally above the clouds. If you don't know what it is, it's this one. Sounds pretty good, huh? All right, go ahead. Give me my power moon, sucker boy. I want it. I want it now. All right, thank you, Toad. Jamming in the wooded kingdom with my boy Toad. That's right. He's having a grand old time. So, I'm actually going to turn this off. I don't want to listen to that. It's... It's not as cool listening to it, you know, in this part of the game. It's only good in an area that you're you're in that has the music automatically playing in it. But other than that, you don't have to listen to it. Also, you can listen to like this track anywhere you are in the game. It actually sounds good. Like this track in this kingdom specifically, it sounds good wherever you are in the game. I like it. We're actually going to Forest Charge Station. That's where I meant to go, not this place. This place is not relevant for me right now. I think I completed everything I needed to do in this area. So now what we got to do here is we got to uh we got to take this rocket ship. Oh oh no no no. Mario the uh, the other way, my boy. No, Mario, you killed yourself. Why? You played yourself hardcore. You just did it. He just... No, I'm going to have to be... Oh, my gosh, dude. Why does every place in this game take you to the deep woods? You know, I'm just... I don't want to fight T-Rexy anymore. I'm tired of being a Jurassic Park explorer. I'm done. Where's this stupid vine? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. No, that's not the vine. That's the other thing. Okay, the vine's somewhere over here then, right? Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Maybe, maybe. I don't see no vine. Oh, there it is. It's all the way over there. Man, I wish this place was just a, a teensy bit more lit. I mean, where are the fire bros? You know, starting forest fires. 
Like, they could just do it anywhere else in this kingdom, but not here. This is off limits because they don't want to mess around with the T-Rex. I guess I don't blame them, you know. I don't. I wouldn't want to do that either. So, go back to Forest Charge Station. What I was trying to do was literally take the rocket ship all the way up. And it's not hard to do. It's just whenever I record literally videos, I, I end up playing so bad. But any other day, you know, I play very nicely. So all I had to do was that, literally. Wall bounce, just throw Cappy onto the rocket ship, and boom, bada bing, shalang. You got yourself a, um, a easy star moon. Two, actually. So there's two star moons, one with uh, one hidden, and then one, obviously, where you have to find the moon bits. The, the moon shards, I mean, that's what they're called, moon shards. So it's pretty easy. You just got to look around for the moon shards. Like, for example, there's one hidden down here. Actually, no, this is where the star bit, the star is, or the power moon is. It's literally hidden inside of this nut. I was thinking of the moon shard. Yeah, the moon shard is, there's one moon shard that's very hidden. Um, they did a very good job hiding this one. And it's actually underneath this. Who would have ever guessed? I remember the, when I played this, I, it took me forever to find it. And by forever, I mean like a couple minutes. Because everything else is just pretty easy. It's very straightforward, you know? Okay, let's take a look around. How come this dude doesn't want to fly higher? Is this really the extent of his flight? All right, fine, whatever. We'll just leave you be. We'll go possess a different guy. Because clearly this dude does not want to fly higher. So this is the fourth one, and then the fifth one should be near me. Um... I think I, I think you have to possess these guys. They don't fly all at the same altitude for whatever reason. I don't understand that. I feel like if you're going to play as a Paragoomba, you should give them the ability to fly high whenever they want. And there it is, the fifth one. Not bad. So just remember, the, there's one moon shard hidden very well, and it's underneath this platform with the, where the rocket ship is on. But with that, you can get two easy power moons. And that's, uh, you know, it's just an easy win for us, wandering in the fog. I hope I don't have to do this again. I'm sure we're eventually going to have to do this in another kingdom, but that is it for that. Now, what else is there? I guess I could talk to Takatu and see what he has to say. Let me actually see how many I have left. I don't, I don't recall. I have 68, so I have eight more remaining. And again, three can be found outside of this kingdom. So technically, there's only five left here. The question is, where exactly are the five that are remaining? Um... Which one did we go into? Let me actually see. We did we did that one, right? That's the bullet bill one over there. I feel like what I'm looking for is going to be like one of those uh one of these. Actually, let me see. So, let's scroll down. We got the 23 is one outside. Okay, so we're looking for these ones. So this one is over here. Okay, so yeah, this one's two. I literally figured. I just had to double check. I didn't want to look stupid going into this Already having done it before. And what? We did do this one. What the heck, game? So why are they telling me that there's some? Okay, never mind. I guess I'll have to look them up. Okay, so apparently these th uh, these next two power moons are very easy. I'm actually surprised that I haven't gotten them yet. But apparently I haven't. So they both require uproots. One of which actually being literally in this area. Okay, so let's take a look. Is it this one? Could it be that I actually skipped this one? Okay. I don't know how I would have skipped that. I think I, I I was almost positive this is one of the ones I would have gotten like earlier on in the game, but I guess not. So the next one's also one inside of a nut where you have to find it. It's pretty easy to find. Literally just go over to this room, the room where you fought the, uh, I guess you didn't fight anything, but you want to just use this upward break the nut and boom, bada, bing, shalang, you got yourself another power moon. So we have five remaining before we are done with this kingdom. So we have 61. 60 okay let me see which one's exactly 68 which one is 68 okay guys i figured it out so the next two power moons that we're going to get which are in fact the last two power moons that we need before we can exit this place to get the remaining power moons are located right here outside of iron math path uh, iron mountain path station a i don't know why i said math but anyways uh the first one is that one but we're not doing that so we're just gonna go ahead and make our way over to this side right here and as you can see there is literally a uh a note over there so that's what i was looking for just the notes i just didn't know exactly where they were so you're going to need this guy you want to stretch him out as high as you can um, obviously in order to be able to reach some of these notes and once you do it you get yourself a power moon 
and the next power moon is literally like i said located next to him so once you go ahead and grab it uh you can go back and just do this one as well it's just weird because in the book and the guide they're just all out of order you know and it makes sense because you know there's really no specific order to get these things in but it's just if they were all structured in a way where they were one after another in areas that would make it a lot easier but I, I guess it would take the fun out of the game because the idea is you're supposed to do it the way you want to do it. So anyways, go back here and then we're just going to jump off this. Yep, go ahead, jump it off. Mario, come on, jump, man. Why are you sliding down? So this one's actually pretty easy. All you really need to do is just long jump across. All right, well, I did not do that. Okay, fine, fine game. Fine, kill me already, gosh. All right, go ahead and long jump. Oh, I could have made it. Oh my goodness, dude. All right, let's try this again. I'm actually going to take my time doing this because apparently I suck now. All right, so you want to jump across. Wow, that actually worked. I didn't know you could do it like that, but apparently you can. I did this the first time, and I did it. There you go. Finally, we got the thing in the Wooded Kingdom. Gosh, and apparently I also skipped over one, uh, one that was pretty easy to get. I just, you know, like I wasn't aware of it, but you got to go back over here to get this one. I skipped a couple of them actually because I was looking at how many I had and it didn't really add up and I'm like wait what is, well, what's going on here I don't know so the best place to warp to I believe is I want to say the halfway point maybe that's probably the best place to warp it's another one in a nut I could have sworn I got this but maybe it's because I played it on my own time I remembered getting it but I didn't get it and it was it's funny enough because I was literally just here so you want to go ahead and uh, possess this guy. All right, go ahead and p give me your body, dude, f just for a second. And then back here, there's a nut. I think we got this one, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is the one that we still haven't gotten. Let's see. We did get this one. Okay, so it's not this one. It's a different one. Oh, I remember this one. That's right. I got this one. Ah, okay. So it's literally the nut up there. That's right. I wasn't. I thought I got this one before, but I guess I didn't. I totally skipped over it. So go ahead, give me your body, dude. I need you. So this one's pretty easy. Just take this up route all the way over. We're almost done with this kingdom, guy. Guys, I promise. At least we're gonna finish it in this episode. I kind of had my doubts, honestly, on finishing it in this video, but luckily for us, we are. Even if it's taken me a long time to do it, it there's just so many power moons, man. It's, you can't blame me. So you want to go ahead and just hit these blocks. And then go ahead and get the uh, the thingamajig from the nut underneath the observation deck. And once we land, we'll make our way back to the Odyssey. I also didn't get the one in the shop, apparently, which is not anywhere in the guide. I don't know why they do that. Some power moves, they just don't even put them in the guide. They just completely skip over them. But luckily, there is the internet. So I could just look it up online. And apparently, it was this one. It's like, how are you supposed to know which ones you've gotten and which ones you haven't gotten? in a game this big all right it's not you i i meant to talk to this guy hello sir it's this one that's right i desire this power moon for 100 coins man i'm even way more broker than i expected to be but it's fine it's whatever it's dandy that was it guys we have two more power moons to get and we are done with this kingdom once and for all look at that 74 i am so excited about this all right, so now we could just leave this place. We have uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 52. That's how many we got since we've been here. And we actually need like 61 before we can play the final kingdom. Yo, this is exciting. I could just go buy those power moons, to be honest, and fill up my Odyssey. But I want to make sure that I have the correct ones, like these ones, you know? Nine more before we can uh, power up the Odyssey again and make our way to the next kingdom, the final kingdom, actually. So this power moon is going to be the, the art one, the one where you have to find the uh, artwork in a different kingdom of the Wooded Kingdom. And we're going to Metro Kingdom. It's super easy to find. It's actually located right next to the Odyssey, so they make my job a lot easier rather than having to explore for it and find it it's uh, very easy to find luckily this isn't like one of those power moons that just you know shift or change depending on like the the game um because some moons are like that they're different depending on like the game and by that i mean like they literally are different for everyone's game so here it is the wooded kingdom art this one's going to take us to inside of the cage so go ahead just transport there Thank you, Mario. Oh, I should have done this one last, so I ended up in the Wooded Kingdom. I mean, it's whatever, I guess. It doesn't really matter. 
Here we are, the Wooded Kingdom, taking us back from, or taking us from Metro Kingdom to the Wooded Kingdom. Secret path to the Steam Gardens. All right, now we have one more to do. You guys remember at the beginning of the episode, behind the giant tree, south of the Odyssey, I showed you guys a picture of a Koopa Troopa wearing a sombrero. Obviously, we already know it was in the Sand Kingdom, but where exactly? Now, this one is kind of tricky because you might just think, oh, it's the Koopa Troopa. Uh, even in the in the guide, they said the same thing, and it was hilarious because I literally, in my head, was thinking the same thing. It's like, hey, it's the Koopa Troopa that, uh, you know, did the the, the, the the circle walk around challenge with you. Um, he wants you to, you know, find the power moon like four or five steps north of him or whatever when the two bushes. But that's not the case. It's actually way far out. So I might actually use a Jaxi for this one because we have to go all the way to the edge of the kingdom north of this place. And this kingdom is massive. Mario the Explorer is here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this Jaxi. All the way up north. What are you doing? Actually, I could probably travel there, can I? Nah, I'll just take Jaxi. Why not, dude? Jaxi's my boy. Haven't seen him in a long time. It's been like three days, dude. For me, that's a long time. Imagine your pet. If you don't if you don't see him every day, it feels like forever. I don't have any pets, so I wouldn't really know, but I had cats. We did have a dog at one point growing up, but he wasn't my dog. Um, so he, I, I, I wouldn't really know the bond or the connection with a dog or whatever. Um, let me see. Where is it? So I'm looking for a couple of bushes. Okay, it's actually this one. I literally stopped right in front of it. And then you go ahead and grab pond and voila! We got ourselves the power moon found with Wooden Kingdom art. So you see how far out it is? This is where you did the Koopa Troopa walking race. You literally got to walk all the way up north. Of him where there's two bushes so it's exactly north of him so the picture didn't lie it just wasn't as close as you know it seemed to be in the picture but that my friends is going to do it for this episode thank you all so much for watching next time we're going to be making our way to the next kingdom we completed the wooded kingdom officially 100% I feel really good about this it's actually one of the longest kingdoms in the game so one of those kingdoms is knocked off of the list I'm excited to go to the next one I think we're gonna be doing yeah cloud kingdom and then lost kingdom we might do them both in the same episode i mean they're they're shorter kingdoms so there's probably not a lot going on there but we'll see so thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed once again don't forget to drop a like and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace out